Kirby! Thanks for coming back! Oh, have you been buying gear for your teammates? Battles only get easier with stronger teammates. Okay then, have a great day! Oh, we collected 100 gem apples! And already, without even getting started with the episode. Alright then. Well guys, we're back again to start up Season 3 of Super Kirby Clash. I know a lot of you have missed this series, so it's time to bring it back for another episode to, of course, begin Season 3 in the series. Recently, we just finished up our battle with, of course, um, Parallel Nightmare back in Season 2, as that was the final boss of that particular season. Time to get back into this game again to now tackle through our first boss, taking place, of course, in the seaside, and this is also going to be the shortest season in the series, having a whopping total of five episodes, and also the only season in which it would maintain just story mode battles. Keep this in mind, okay guys? But anyway, let's see who's waiting for us in the seaside this time. Okay, so in order to encounter this next battle, you actually need to have 10 gen and apples in order to encounter it. So it's time to get our first mini boss, which is actually a returning foe from previous games. I'm talking more specifically, the one and only Giga Edge. We've met this guy time and time again in some of the previous Kirby games that I played, like Return of Dreamland, Trouble Deluxe, and all that jazz. Well, he's back at it again. And this time, this is our first matchup that we'll actually have with Giga Edge, since this is also our first tough class boss that we're going to have which is going to be something different over the years that we're going to have. Here comes Giga Edge, his blade gleaming, dodges downward blows. Of course, here's the four missions associated with this guy, but again, that's not important because it's not what we're here for now, are we? No, we're here for a mini boss battle, so let's get into it. As you can see, I just upgraded to the third rarity setting, so yeah, pretty much everything is good and square. So of course, let's get into it. Let's see how tough Giga Edge is from the last battle. We'll see. Alright, Giga Edge, let's see how tough you are from the last battle. By the way, for tough plus missions, the music is a bit different in this one. So keep that in mind. Well, Giga Edge is still pretty easy, even after that last encounter that we had with him, with him in the past. Yeah, still pathetically easy. Ain't too much of a problem. Ain't no big boy for us, come on. Bring it on, Giga Edge. Man, the damage is coming through, though. I'll show you the map, bro. We're just doing, like, crazy damage. I mean, look, I know it doesn't do that much at first, but yeesh, the damage we can do is just insane. It's gracious, bro. This is only just the beginning of Season 3. Oh. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is a problem. This is a problem. No. Oh, my God. I literally tried to block and then the hold. I just could not do it. That sucked. Okay, at least I got revived, so it's no big deal. But come on. Are you serious with that? Now I really need to get some HP back. No, I'm not gonna get hit by that. You got, I must. Never mind. I didn't get any hit. Oh my goodness! Second time I fainted throughout this battle. Well, at least I got revived, so it's no big deal. But come on, are you serious with that? Oh, that was not cool. Come on, bro. For real with that. No, I'm not gonna get hit by that. You actually got me messed up with that. All right, we almost defeated him. Oh, snap! Oh, never mind. Let me scream. And as I thought, we took it out. Bam! Okay, that did actually prove to be a bit of a challenge because apparently I died twice throughout that battle. I mean, it's not that bad considering that only just, you know, I died only twice, and then Yellow Kirby died once, but... Whew, that was kind of a struggle. Do keep in mind, if you use Tree Meteor on this guy, he does actually play a different animation. So, here it is.
Holy bruh. We were already in season three, and already that just turned out to be a struggle. Thankfully, we were able to beat Giga Edge, so I can't really complain about it too much, but regardless of that, that was a tough battle. At least we got a silver for our trouble, so I'm not complaining. Of course, could have done a bit better, but, you know, so. The brunch. That gave us enough experience to get to level 9. I will take it gladly. Of course, like I said, could have done better because, you know. Your heroic rank has gone up, and your maximum level has increased. You can now reach level 20. Oh! Oh, a new party quest has been added. I'll definitely take a look at that later. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to wrap up this episode because honestly, this has been a little bit of a struggle to get through, especially considering that I ended up taking more damage than what I did from the previous battles that I've had. So, if I can be honest with y'all, that actually kinda sucked. Of course we get 300 gem apples, so I'm not even complaining about that. Alright guys, I think this is a good stop for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next time when I, of course, come back to the next episode to tackle through some more of this game and tackle through the next Neos. But until the next time, guys, I'll see you later. So until next time, bye.